Don't look forward to this story because I hope it's not true, but let's talk through the Lakers. And LeBron James posting that cryptic IG story, quoting Jay-Z amid his retirement rumors. Hope he doesn't retire. Ball to your fall. That's what I want to see. But the Lakers star, we know LeBron James is, continued his cryptic offseason about his future in the NBA while it's all kicking into gear. We're still watching teams try to fight for that Larry O'Brien trophy to be the champion of the league, but a lot of the headlines get stolen when LeBron James says anything about his future. So in the Instagram story, the four-time MVP pulled a lyric from Jay-Z, from Jay-Z, what more can I say? Which is a banger. That seemingly teased the idea of his retiring. Quote, I'm, so, I'm supposed to be number one on everybody list. We'll see what happens when I long, no longer exist. Damn. Let me say that cleaner like Jay-Z would. I'm supposed to be number one on everybody list. We'll see what happens when I no longer exist. Golly. Woo. LeBron wants to feel the love. Who, who, who do you love? He wants some of that YG mixed with that Jay-Z. He is not feeling the love. He is playing with our emotions. I know damn well he ain't about to retire. Or, or is he? All right, so after the Lakers lost in the West Conference Finals, we know that James admitted he was unsure about whether he returned for a 20, godly, 21st season in the NBA. That's a whole lot of, he said, we'll see what happens going forward. I don't know, I don't know. I got a lot to think about, to be honest, just for me personally going forward with the game of basketball. All right, so now it's been reports that there's widespread, widespread skepticism James will walk away when he signed for two years and $97 million. Uh-oh. Now, Dave McMenamin, my dog, DMC, also said a source close to James believes the Lakers star will indeed be back for number 21 and fulfill his contract. I think DMC got this right. So until he makes his decision, probably won't be the last time. LeBron James cryptically goes into his IG and his story on social media to entertain the speculation. So what's really going on right here? What's the psych play for LeBron James? I do know this, no matter what your endeavor is, when you start getting closer to the end, uh, you start to put yourself in those situations. You try to really envision yourself going through those circumstances. And this is kind of normal. Let's talk through it. Um, there were some opportunities when they were talking to me at Fox to do other shows. And with those other shows, I had to start to envision, did I want to really leave that or did I want to do those other shows? So to do that, I start living it out through not only my mentals, but my whole family dynamic, my whole physical experience. So I really start acting like I wouldn't be here for that because I will be there doing that show. I start acting like, oh, I will be over there at this time instead of here with the family. And you start living that out just to see if you're really built for that. So LeBron is going through a smart exercise of seeing what, look, what retirement will look like to LeBron, right? And he's doing that for us to consume. Why? So much of LeBron has been built up based on us and our consumption of his greatness, right? And LeBron is also trying to basically get a leg up on Michael Jordan. And there's no way you get a leg up on Michael Jordan without talking your talk, without walking that walk, without actually being the squeaky wheel. Why? Because Michael Jordan grew up in an era with limited exposure to him. We only saw him outside the NBA games on inside the NBA with Amar Rashad on a Saturday morning randomly. Remember that? And other than that, he, he was just a man of mystique. Like, wow, wow. So less was more for Michael Jordan. Therefore, he got the most out of his aura. He got the most out of his presence by being absent from the public's mind. Well, LeBron James couldn't do that if he tried. So what does he have to try to do? Lean into the fact that he is everywhere all the time because of social media. Memes, stuff that he says, the comments back on him, every shot he takes, he trends. So LeBron James, instead of fighting that, remember early in his career, trying to be Batman, and then all of a sudden he tried to be the villain and the Joker when he went to Miami. Then he just came to realize, you know what? I got to just be LeBron James and lean into all the things that I desire, which includes I am always going to be accessible. So he's leaning into like, 
you know how they the albums used to come out once a year like oh i got a big album coming out once a year and then like around tupac era around no limit era they were coming out like once a week <laughs> like these same artists was just putting out content so we know now content is king lebron james knows content is king and if he wants to be the goat if he wants to truly be King James in a sport where we have King Michael Jordan, he's going to continue to poke at us to make sure that we're paying attention to his greatness. So that's what's going on. And he's a human being like everybody else. Who, who, who do you love? He wants to feel that love. Every response, every comment, every show like me that talks about LeBron James, he's hoping closes that gap or helps him surpass the real king in y'all eyes or the GOAT, Michael Jordan.